wonderful. So we can proceed now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, um, over to the class. I believe um, vibrato has been the major issue of a lot of violence. It took me up to, um, should I say, um, three to four to five to seven months to perfect it to an extent because um, it is one of the um, technique that gives, um, should I say, juice or sauce to your playing. Okay, so um, the first thing we would need to talk about is majorly on how you are holding your or carrying your violin because that is one of the things that affects your playing. Okay, that is one of um, having a good bow carrying carriage. It will really affect even your vibrato, okay? So I'll start by showing you some things now immediately that may affect you. So if you are, if you do carry a violin like this, like this, then vibrato is very far from you. And I must say something, you must have gone to the extent of being able to play to an extent, like people can hear you and understand what you're playing. When you play, you're, you're not sounding too awful. Okay, those things I may treat it in other lessons, but this is strictly for vibrato, which is to say, if you've got why put it there by this point? I'm not saying gripping here is wrong, okay, because there are a lot of ways one can carry his or violin. But one thing about vibrato is you need flexibility, okay. For some people, I've seen a guy that holds like this, but whenever he wants to vibrate, he does this opening a bit like this and the vibrato comes, all right? So I will just show us some exercises that will lead us to um, being able to achieve a good vibrato. So if you're with your violin, um, I would like to see, let me just go to the video um, session. If you are with your violin there, you can indicate so we can see how we go about this. How many people are with your violin? You can just indicate with a raise of hand. I think there's a place you can just raise your hand and um, I will get to know how good are there so that as I'm saying what I'm saying, I will just know that um, we are all following, okay? So hope I'm still on. Yeah, I guess I am. All right, so that is just it. Um, okay, sorry, I did something on my phone here. Okay, so I will just proceed immediately. I will proceed immediately. Just give me one minute to do something. Okay, so I'll proceed immediately now. If probably you've um, been having issues with your vibrato, this is the first thing I would like you to do. Now, see how we carry our violin. The bone here stays at the end, this part like this. Okay, we just keep it somewhere here, close to the smooth place here, but not under directly, something of this nature. Okay, then all our fingers stays like this. Okay, now your wrist is supposed to be Coughed out this way, all right, so that you won't be having issues with them, um, uh, maybe carrying here. So, your carriage is majorly with your shoulder and your chin. I'm just trying to touch on these little, little things. So, you don't carry with your hand, your hand needs to be very free. So, vibrato needs flexibility both on your wrist, both your fingers, your fingers having flexibility, and your arm too having flexibility of it. So, we have about three kinds of vibrato um, we have um, the finger vibrato, which um, some people use at least when they're somewhere up here, they just use that finger kind of stuff like this, okay? Then we have um, the wrist vibrato, whereby your arm is steady and your wrist is doing this, like saying yes, 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 you get that. Then we have the one that is from um, your arm vibrato, where all your hand, both your wrist and your arm do this motion, okay? So if you understand this, then we can proceed on to the next thing. Now, see the first thing I would like you to do, your thumb, drop it under your violin, not inside, just by the edge here, yeah? by the edge. So drop it there. Then all your four fingers, just place them on your board like this. I want to see this. Okay, I want to see this. Just do something like this for me. Good, good. Look at how my thumb is over there, just like this. I'm not pinning, please. I'm not pinning. I just slapped it here. And um, my fingers are like this, all right? So um, now when you do this, this is what I want you to do. Remove other fingers and just place maybe your middle finger, just your middle finger. I'm trying to put my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Now, when you put your middle finger, all I want you to do is um, let it be as if um, you want to take your palm here, all right, to touch 
the upper bolt of your violin. So do that, just push all your arm forward like this, okay, to touch the bolts of your violin. Permit me, I'll be holding like this so that you can see what I'm doing, all right? So when you put it like this, it's as if all your hands are flat here, good. Now, I would like you to do something like a pull, a pull as if you want to pull this place, you see here that it's touching the butt, you want to pull it out like this. Are you seeing that? Well, now when you're pulling it out, it's as if you're trying to draw your hand. Don't make sure this finger does not pull out, okay? It should just be like, if you're trying to make it flat like this, you push it forward, you pull it backward. Easy, easy. Now watch, I'm not doing this, please. I'm not doing this, okay? So you push forward, you pull backward, you push forward, you pull backward. If you can do this, slowly this is just the secret behind vibrato okay now vibrato is just this same thing you are doing it very fast now see look at it look at this when we want to pin our fingers we don't pin we don't put our fingers directly like making our nails to touch the string we kind of slant our fingers a bit so this is how we play our violin okay our fingers are a bit slanted so hello please i want it to confirm network. if you Okay, yeah, it was not talk, but yeah. have you been hearing me right from time, please? All the things yes. I've been saying here, you've been hearing. Yes, 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 so, yes hearing you. Okay, wonderful. Because I I observed my mic was kind of mute at some point. So let me just proceed now. See, see this. Like I said, when your hand is like this, okay, and you just do as if you pull out a bit, you see that the flesh is going to show in front here, then you push back. So this is just the little thing you do. And when you do, the, do it with speed, don't mind other hand that used to shake when we do our vibrato. The major thing is just this point here, this point you're seeing, doing this, okay? Now if you watch, I'm not doing this, please, okay? So when your arm do, does this, please, someone is, someone's mic is on, mute your mic. So when your hand keep doing this, now the speed is what, that, is what will prompt the other fingers to flow with it. So let's just do this with our violin now. So let me say, instead of doing it maybe around this side, you can take your hand forward to this angle, all right, up here, and you keep your hand, then just pick a note, pick a note, maybe this, just, you draw back, you push forward. So when you push forward, you see that you pull backward, can you see that? Now I'm not doing, if you watch my, my finger is not like this. My finger is just still bold, okay? Still bold. So when I do like this, it kind of have this curved shape. But when I'm pulling back, it has this kind of shape. So this is what vibrato is all about. So if I go. So the speed. what brings out your vibrato as easy as that okay now when i was doing it i was not doing like this because some people will think i'm doing like this i'm pulling out all my hand this is an arm vibrato i think this is one of the easiest to learn although you can still do your wrist but i want you to understand the logic that's why i want us to use this arm by pulling out all our arm then when you want to do your wrist vibrato it won't be a problem it's just your wrist doing that same just your wrist and your arm is steady So if all your arms are doing that, that's your arm vibrato. So it's just like that. So we can try it together. While we, you are watching the video, just do it. Don't unmute yourself, please. Remain mute. But just pick each finger at a time. You can go. I believe there are some people, if you can download metronome, metronome is one of the things that can help. You can go. Then you do two per count. So don't mind as I'm keeping this hand like this. I'm just keeping it so that you see what I'm doing. So that is what vibrato is. Now, the thing, let me tell you the truth. Vibrato is not magic. It will not happen even now as you're trying it, although it may happen if God gives you the grace. But vibrato is something that improves with time, okay? It's not just something that you just get immediately, all right? So keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that, gradually, 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 before you know it, you become very good. So even me, my vibrato, I'm still working on it, okay? Maybe you may hear it and say, ah, it's, it's nice, it's nice, but I have had other people's vibrato 
that are very, very intense and very sweet. If you know CJ, there is one of my guys I love following. I love listening to him. CJ, you can check him out on um, Instagram and other stuff. If you hear his vibrato, his vibrato is so, so strong. And I'm trying to build my own up to that level, but that's not what vibrato is. So you go... Now, try it very slow. There's, an, um, there's a, a saying we always say, anything you can do very slow, you can do it fast, okay? So anything you can do slow, you can do it fast. Try slow, if I don't, don't force it. Just go. And when you're doing, do it with one bow, okay? If you don't do it, okay, do it with one bow. Move your bow very slow. And move your arm very slow. So when I allow all my hands to join, that way you see all the hands flying about. But the major work is within this point and this point, doing that. So there are some exercises I'll be giving you to do now. So maybe just, if you can run your gym, just scale, go. You see this your door, all right? Go and put your first finger there. All right, then you go. You are running your Doremi Fasolati do now. We are going to use the, if you can play your A flat major, if you can play your A flat major, just go with playing with your four fingers to get that, all right? So you can just go. Sorry. You can just slow. I'm not saying you should do it this fast. You can even take more time. Go. I know it may not be that easy. So just do it gradually, gradually, gradually. Then when you feel that you are comfortable in this stage, you increase your speed. So that is just it. You need flexibility in your fingers, okay? See this, see this. When I'm pulling, when I'm pushing, so you need this flexibility. Not like this, not like this. And you see, it's not, I like to draw back, I like to go forward. So something like this, and you get a very nice vibrato, all right? Like I said, take it gradually, 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 gradually. But what can help you is when you keep it here and do it first. If you can achieve it here, then achieving it on your um, on your strings won't be a problem. So do for each finger, do for each finger, do for each finger, do for each finger. Then when you are okay with all those fingers, you cannot try it somewhere up here. Don't go down yet. That may be a bit difficult. So do it somewhere here on each of the string. Just keep doing it, keep doing it till you get to the level, maybe to an extent that you cannot come here, then you can and you try the same thing. Now see the another exercise I can give you. You can just pick maybe any of your notes then. Let me say that note, are you go. Like you push forward and pull back, push forward and pull back. Then you go back. So forward first. So you can do one for the... And when you are doing vibrato, note your hand does not move. It remains on that point. It's just that pitch, that pinch in there that makes it changes, okay? So you don't do, all right? You don't do like this. And you don't do like this. These are the two major things. So that's the major thing about vibrato. Like I said, Vibrato is not magic. It comes with time. I, like I said, I referred someone you can listen to. When I, I thought I've arrived on Vibrato because my Vibrato was a bit okay, but until I had another person and I hungered for more. So what you would do is, you can just maybe 
engage some lessons also online. Online lessons help a lot. So engage some lessons online. Watch Vibrato. Now, Vibrato, yeah, the place I learned it from was from a lady. How I got to understand how that works is she did it in a slow motion. Okay, she did a slow motion. before you add your vibrato, they will hear the vibrato more. If I go. When I do the vibrato, it will come out, okay? Then play each note. And it's not every time you apply vibrato, but since you're learning it, it is okay if you add vibrato in all your notes for the main time. Just take each of the notes. Fourth finger, okay, but you can just try now. The fourth finger, it's easy, 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 just gradually, gradually, and you achieve it. So, that is majorly the few things that I can give as vibrato. If you can try this out, if you can do it here, doing it here is not a problem. Gradually, 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 you are going to get it. So, I think we just have a few minutes to go. We just have, okay, we have about um, two, um, is it um, 16 minutes, I think so, to go. So if maybe there's any question or anything you would like to ask now about vibrato, or maybe there's something you didn't understand, this is the time you can ask your question, okay? Then I hope that, or I believe that this um, explanation and everything was very clear to everyone. So thank you very much. Now, um, let me just give some instances or say some things that you need to correct, okay? Now, you see, the way you place your finger matters a lot, okay? The way you place it, I know everybody have different finger um, structure and all those things, but the thing is, your mode of carrying, like I said at the beginning, affects how you sound, okay? So when you're playing, one of the things that can give you a very good sound, let me just give you a maybe tonality treatment. Now, if you want to sound good, let me just do this as an, an extra. You want to sound very good while you're playing. The first thing you must notice, you see the pressure on your strings. You must make sure that you're having good pressure from your finger to your string. If not, you're going to get a sound that is not cool. Let me just show you what I mean. I'm not pressing, I'm not pressing now, but when I press, Some people sound like this, but when you add your pressure, that's why you see sometimes when some people are playing concerts, you just like, they just want to make sure the sound is accurate and also the tone is coming out. Then another thing that affects sounds again, let me just wrap up this. Another thing that affects sound is your bow. Okay, um, if as a beginner you're going very close to your breath, like very close to your breath like this, you'll be having one kind of ponticello sound. So we advise that you always bow at the middle, only if maybe you want to play loud or soft. If you're playing very soft, you come towards the finger, but if you're playing loud, you come towards the breath, but don't go like very close as this, okay? That's one of the things that affects your sound. Then secondly, you must understand, or thirdly, the pressure of your bow matters a lot, okay? If I add pressure, I'm adding pressure. Now, this is the finger we used to add pressure. So if I add pressure like this and I move very slow, this is the sound you get. You see that? So when you're adding pressure, make sure you go with an equal speed. If you're not adding pressure, still go with the equal speed that um, 
and it's accurate to that um, or equivalent to the pressure you're adding. If I'm adding pressure, that kind of pressure, I can go, if I go fast, it will sound well, all right? Then if I'm not adding pressure, and I move very slow, soft, so if I'm not adding pressure, I'm moving, I'll be getting one kind of holy sound. So you must learn to equate it. When you're adding pressure, add more speed. And when you are not adding pressure, don't use much speed. But the thing is, for every note you play, this is another point. For every note you play, make sure you use as much bow as possible. Don't do like. You have all your bow to use. So make sure you use bow as much as you can. Then another thing is, we normally tilt our bow. So if it's a straight bow, we tilt it a bit, making the hair to face us. Now we don't do that with our hand like this. We just do a little turn. Watch this, watch this. I just turn with my thumb like, you see that? So I just turn like this. And I make sure that when I'm doing that tilting, my bow hair when stick does not touch when I'm playing. It will not be cool, okay? So just a little tilt like this, I'm coming like this towards you. Because when you play with the edge of your bow, you get a clearer sound than when it's just a direct face. Okay, so that's just all I can share for today. Thank you so, so much for those that were able to join. And for those that are recorded, please, if you can compress the video a bit and share it with me so I can make it public um, so that, um, those that were not able to come to the class can also achieve from that. Thank you so, so much and God bless you all. Let me just hear your voices before you go. Can I hear some voices? You can unmute yourself, everybody. Awesome. Okay, let Thank me... You. Okay, ah, that's changed in my... I recognize <laughs> the voice. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kelvin, thank you for coming through. Um, the violin so worship much. warrior. That's my 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 favorite song. If I precious, thank you for coming around, Mr. Daniel. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, sorry. And what's the name? Thank you that, so much. Okay, whatever that name is, but Paul, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Jude. Thank you for coming around. God bless you all. God bless you all. So thank you and God bless you, you too. Has ended. Uh, Mr. Pressure, save the video first before I, I exit the video. Okay.